Hello learners, welcome to NIOS. Today we will study lesson number 6 part 1. The title of the lesson is psychological aspects. We will study this lesson in two parts. So, let us begin with the first part of lesson number 6. Please read the conversation. From the above conversation, we can make out that to understand a child, parents must know about various aspects of psychology. As the child grows, they face many challenges as an adolescent. What type of personality the child possesses? What are the driving forces which compel them to do something? What is their potential to learn things? Let us find the answers to all the questions that have arisen from the active conversation. Dear learners, first of all, let us know about the objective of the present lesson. In the first part of lesson 6, we will identify the psychological characteristics and problems of an adolescent. We will explain the concept of personality. Let's start with the concept of adolescent. Who is an adolescent? A child passes through the different stages of growth and development such as infancy, childhood, adolescence and adulthood. Adolescence is the transitional period between childhood and adulthood. It is a very difficult to say exactly when adolescence starts. However, Adolescence starts from the onset of puberty to the age of maturity. It generally starts from 10 till 19 years of age. There are various changes that occur in adolescence such as physical changes, cognitive changes, social changes and emotional changes. These changes occur due to hormonal fluctuations in the body of adolescence. Let's try to understand each characteristics. Physical changes. In this stage, the child achieves their maximum limit in physical growth. Bones and muscles achieve their final shape. Growth and functions of organs are at their peak. All glands become almost active. Height and weight increase and achieve their final shape. Emotional changes. Emotions such as anger, love, fear and happiness etc. are instable, intense and an individual is unable to control them and sometimes are irrational in their beginning of this stage. At the beginning of this stage, the child is often irritable, can easily get excited and explodes emotionally instead of trying to control his feelings. However, in later years of adolescence stage, he is able to control his feelings and become emotionally stable. Social changes. Adolescents change their dynamics with their family. The adolescence gives importance to the group or circle of her, his friends and become loyal to them. It can be said that they develop this strong emotional attachment and trust to their group and may have conflicts with their parents if resisted. Cognitive changes. Adolescents thinking become abstract. Now they can think over an issue with logic. Sometimes they analyze the things critically that is how things are and how things they may be. In this stage they become rational, they develop the reasoning power and interpret things around them in their own way. This is clearly seen in the adolescent's increased interest in thinking about interpersonal relationship, politics, philosophy, religion and morality. Our next task is to understand personality and its concepts. For a layman, physical appearance often defines personality. For them, how an individual talks 
and interacts with others are the indications of a good personality. Persons who is not good looking or not well dressed or does not interact properly is considered to have a poor personality. But scientifically, this is not a true concept of personality. Now, we will talk about the definitions of personality as described by various psychologists from around the globe. Personality represents the characteristics of the person which accounts for consistent pattern of behavior. Broadly, three factors influence our personality. Genetic makeup, past experience and environment or situation around us. Let us understand the various determinants of personality. Physical development, the functional quality of organic systems could be improved through running, jogging, walking or participating in other sports activities such as volleyball, football, basketball, swimming or any other activity. Social development, sports play a very important role in social development. Players have to participate in competition and to perform as per the rules. In this way, an individual may carry his improved behavior to the society and behave as per the rules developed by the society. Cognitive development. A player has to perform very efficiently to get success in sports. Without thinking and analyzing the competition environment in sports, a player cannot perform well. Emotional development. When a player participates in the competition, they have to face many outcomes that are beyond their control. Sometimes they lose their match in the competition, but still behaves positively rather to be depressed, which is a reflection of emotional development. Psychomotor development. A player learns a number of fundamental movements through sports such as walking, jogging, running, turning, twisting, pushing, pulling, throwing, catching, passing, etc. that help to make him physically fit, mentally sound and socio-emotionally adjustable. Learners, with this we have reached the end of lesson 6, part 1. We will continue with the present topic in the second part of this lesson. I hope you liked watching this video. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.